So before we had Adidas Boost, we had a technology from Nike that I personally consider to be the most comfortable technology for sneakers on the market, and that is Nike Lunar Lawn. This video is gonna give you the top five facts that you should know about Nike Lunar Lawn. Hey, what is going on guys? Hess here from collectivekicks.com and I wanted to bring you guys a video on my top five facts about Nike Lunar Lawn and hopefully this will be everything that you need to know about the shoe. If I miss anything about Lunar Lawn in this video, feel free to leave a comment for others to see. And if you guys have future top five fact videos that you guys would like to see, weigh in in the comment section and I will check out those comments. So let's go ahead and get into the top five facts of the Nike Lunar Lawn material. So first up, Nike Lunar Lawn technology was invented by Kevin Hoffer and Eric Avar. Kevin Hoffer was from running, Eric Avar was from basketball. If you didn't know, he designed the Foam Posit, one of my favorite shoes of all time, and some of the Kobe's that are on the market. So their mission was to create a cushioning system that would give distance runners and basketball players soft cushioning and bouncy responsiveness. So these two searched for the right materials and they were inspired by images of astronauts walking on the moon with soft springy movements. They actually ended up working with chemical engineers, designers, and technicians to be able to formulate this technology. So what exactly is Lunar Lawn? In science terms, it was the fusion of lightweight ethylene vinyl acetate, EVA, with a bouncy ball-like spring of nitrile rubber, which is NBR. They basically found the perfect mix of foam and air and they dubbed it Lunar Lawn. So Lunar Lawn was actually 30% lighter than Phylon, but it was very hard to work with. They said it was basically sticky like melted marshmallows. It was definitely very soft, but it wasn't very bouncy. So in 2005, a prototype running sole was created. They used a soft but stable Lunar Lawn center into a firmer Phylon foam shell. I personally got this wrong all the time because I thought that Lunar Lawn was the entire midsole, but Lunar Lawn is actually just the inside of the encasing of the midsole. And that is the soft part. In the inside obviously so that was the beginning of lunar lawn so lunar lawn actually ended up debuting in two different shoes the nike lunar racer for running and the nike hyperdunk for basketball and in 2008 they introduced the nike lunar glide with dynamic support which is basically a two-part midsole that helped provide stability and cushioning since then they've had many versions of the nike lunar glide up through the lunar glide 8 this is a nike lunar epic flyknit 2 which is the current Flyknit Lunar Lawn flagship model. So what is next for Nike though? Lunar Lawn has been on the market for 10 years or so. And so we are really waiting for something new technology wise from Nike. And it seems like they're gonna be bringing it to us with what they call Nike Zoom X. Kind of confusing because I don't think there's actually Zoom in it, but I definitely will be checking this out as soon as it becomes available publicly. And it's supposed to be what's gonna be the competition for Adidas Boost. So that's pretty much all we need to know about Nike Lunar Lawn. So question for you guys out there, what is your favorite model today that has Nike Lunar Lawn material in it? Leave that comment in the comment section and let me know. I'm curious to see what you guys have to say. My favorite for sure was the Nike Lunar Flyknit Chukka. It was such a great looking shoe in my opinion. I still have a couple pairs in my garage that I rock on occasion because they're just so comfortable still. But those ones were definitely my favorite to date. Anyways, that is all we have for this video. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys for watching. Catch you guys for some more sneaker videos soon. Peace guys.